Nothing like cooking all the food in your fridge when your fridge breaks. So guys, yeah, cooking everything that was in the fridge, that was fun. Yeah, that was a cooking marathon. <laughs> now I know I can have a restaurant. So like Maria <laughs> told you, our fridge just went on the, it died. It just completely died. Look at that. Luckily, we're at this great place called Bell Ringers here in uh, Waco. We're still in Waco, right? Yeah, we're still, still in Waco. Waco, Texas. <laughs> and they're taking care of our fridge. Mm -hmm. And this is the new one. Can't wait to see it on. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of happy. It seems like I'm a housewife because now I'll get excited for new refrigerators. <laughs> <laughs> So the plan is to get this all done now today. So we can go back to HEB and dump a whole bunch of food into the fridge, which I'm looking forward to. Some beer. S some beer, some wine. Well, wine doesn't go in the fridge. Okay. No, let's not do wine. We, we, just, we just had a Travel Tip Tuesday video about the wine problem. Let's just, Got it. <laughs> sushi, sushi, that goes in the fridge, sushi. Anyway, one of our <laughs> worst nightmares are starting to happen right now. And we're gonna show you what it is. Yeah, it's the overhead compartment. Take a look. So yeah, guys, the overhead compartment is starting to look like a real problem right Fall now. Fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been raining a lot lately, yeah. and I think that that's causing even a bigger damage. Mm -hmm. um, so we've been thinking about this overhead compartment since... We pulled off pulled off <laughs> left New York plan was for us to get to Florida to get that fix and that didn't happen so now we're looking into doing it here in the west mm -hmm. we still doing it. <laughs> um, but still got to be cost friendly for us to get it done and also cost friendly is usually us doing it ourselves and that's what we're looking into now yeah we're gonna watch a couple of YouTube channels and see if we can <laughs> figure it out and if not we'll see what happens yeah, so if you see us rolling down the street and we have no overhead, obviously you know what happened then. If you see us <laughs> in national TV, <laughs> the news. Driving down the road with stuff just falling out the front. <laughs> yes, that's us. <laughs> so guys, some good news. <laughs> anyway, so we're, we're still here at Bell Ringers and these guys are amazing. If yeah, you are, great. oh man. If you are out here with your RV and you need to get a couple of things done or just pick up some items, definitely stop here at Bell Ringers because they're real cool. Everybody, it's a family-owned business mm -hmm. and they make you feel like family while you're here. Yeah, they're very helpful, they're very knowledgeable, and they have a shop with everything that you may need yeah. in your RV. On top of that, we've been here for like hours and they've been finished with us, so we've just been hanging out here talking, <laughs> <laughs> so it's been awesome. It's been great. But back to the news, the fridge is all together. We can yes. put food in there finally, again. A fresh beer yeah. is in the tummy today. Yeah, so you're seeing what the old fridge looked like. The new one is all pretty, it's nice and clean, there's no old mold so from it. Right. Uh, on top of that, these guys took a look at our roof for us as well. And they gave us a good ceiling up there because we've been having the rain come in, as you've seen before as well. So, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Yeah. And now we have some instructions of what we have to do next. <laughs> a so, little drawing, a yeah. little map of how we need to take care of things next. So let's but, see how that goes through. Yeah, let's head up back to Luffy and check on him. <laughs> 